it again, go VJ, Headspace, album review. We do it so nicely. Put legend. Um, again, it, there seems to be a continuous strand of Cosa Trap just pumping itself out. Oof. I don't know what's going on. I'm actually gonna go into this sociologically. I wanna figure out what's going on around the Eastern and Western Cape that's producing so much fortuitous, fruitful art coming from young people who are really trying to find a way to blend their authenticity into the mold of mainstream rap. I'm really proud of it. And not, it's not even because it's being done primarily in its course. It's because you know how I am about the capital A that striving to understand the context that you dwell in locally is a great way to find out how you can relate with the rest of the world. So I'm speaking about one of these rappers who's really um, a light for me. He kind of glimmers and shimmers with a lot of interesting charismatic hope. Put Legend, I think one of the coolest rap names of his peers, with a project that he has an even cooler title. What's the title that I guess? This is because I've never been cool. Never been cool. See, this feels like he's positioning himself as an ambassador of the language, as an ambassador of his own coolness, and declaring to people that his authenticity should not be doubted. I love it. And he does that. Okay, first thing about Put Legend, rudimentary, simple, basic rapper. For y'all who like your complexity, double entendre, for those who like rappers with a sense of engagement in poetic device, Put Legend is not your guy. He is the guy for the everyday person who does not care for literary sensibilities, who just wants to hear somebody say fun things on a song. He reminds me a lot of 2 Chains. You know how 2 Chains was unbelievably simple, yet so funny and relatable that you couldn't doubt him. And that's what made him 2 Chains. But Legend is an artist in that ilk. He is really not about the technical craft of rapping. He is about entertaining. The way he writes his narratives, the way he structures his rhymes is so simple that I think many purists would accuse him of being whack. I don't like the term and I don't like the insinuation because I think here's what is my standard of people who know how to rap. Number one, project confidence, know your voice, right? Number two, timing, know your rhythm. Right? Know your way around different beats. Okay? And then number three, knowledge of self. Know who you are so that the things you say feel believable. Because really, do not underestimate the audience's ability to hear something disingenuous. We know when you all are lying, but sometimes we'd rather forget it because the music, you know, is good enough. But when you're true to self, we don't even need to bypass that task and do the mental challenge of enjoying the song while kind of disgruntledly suppressing our inclination that the artist doesn't seem to be true themselves. But Legend for me ticks all three boxes of what I consider being able to know how to rap. He projects well, he understands his rhythm and he understands himself and is true to himself. Now what more do you want from rappers? I don't want bars. Personally, I think rap is not about bars. Stop it. Rap is about self-confidence. We forget. Rap began with a hip, a hop, a hippie, a hippie to the hip, hip hop, and there's no bars there. There's nothing but the confidence to talk and engage with your audience and make them feel good. And maybe in a way, rappers like Put Legend are reminding us about the core of what rap and hip hop is about the engagement with people, empowering people on an emotional level. And does Put Legend do this? You bet your fucking bottom rand that he does. And he does it with finesse and he does it with ease. I feel like throughout this whole project, there is so much wit, there is so much candor, there is so much to appreciate about this artist that I might write a thesis on this motherfucker as a model to minimal simplicity in South African rap. 
he does it very well. Now, the anchoring of the album, sonically, spoke on the last review about how a lot of these young trap producers are kind of just jumping into mimicking the American sound. You know, you know how we talk about from mimicry to mastery? A lot of them are still trapped in mimicry. They are recycling and reproducing the same tropes that were used to boom, 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 boom. We know how trap beats sound like. And what this is doing is that it's creating a lack of sonic identity and it's choking really good artists under the weight of mediocre production. And here, it's because it's got legend is unbelievably cool. But the sonic texture that moves with it is unbelievably dull. To a point where Boot Legend saved this with his pure sheer charisma. As a rapper, he manages to jump in front of the beats in a way where if you were riding, listening to this in the car or listening to this in the earphones, you really could connect with the artist enough to kind of feel the pulse in your heart and really relate to the person. However, in settings where it's mostly just about drowning in the collective ecstasy like a club this would this not a lot of songs here would kind of hit the note because they're too generic it's too formulaic it falls into the trap of not being too novel so i want to say to the production team around artists like wood legend there is a dire need to the closer trap movement you you brothers and sisters are doing so much for authenticity now i feel the producers need to also step up because when the producers and the artists or the rappers because producer artists too have this dialogue of digging deep and understanding this indigenous array of tools that are there for us to use late so put legend project kind of really sinks because of mediocre beats and not even his sheer capacity to just be a fun guy talking about his exploits is enough to kind of pull this one beyond the midpoint so i might have to give this a five out of ten but i want to subtitle it by saying this review is really a focus on the need for production that speaks to the artistic vision whose responsibility is that i think primarily Artists need to kind of, you know, rappers need to look for beats that speak to them and have relationships with producers where they're able to have a dialogue where the producer creates a beat from the reference point of what an artist's imagination is digging from. And we really need to start exploiting that ample power of the collective South African imagination. Mm, I swear to you. Americans will eat us up when we learn to truly be proud of our own culture. Kariso Lidiha, the comedian, once said South Africa is a culture and a country of low self-esteem. We wait for other countries, particularly America, to tell us that we are great. I don't know, I think he had a point. And I think I want to emphasize this point through Put Legends' album. It's about time we step up and raise our narratives on all bars. Shout out to Boot Legend for being artists who put their authenticity on their sleeve and bring it as the first thing you need to encounter. Because it really is a shockingly glaring statement. It says, uh, let's decolonize our understanding of what language we should rap in and how we should do it. So I appreciate his sentiment. And if this review was based on sentiment alone, 10 out of 10 strictly. But because I have to kind of factor the musical elements and the project as a package, it drowns in my production. Eswaka boy, you know? So in a nutshell, 5 out of 10, but really, really love what's going on right now. It's been VJ, the brother from the ancient mother. We rant and we rave about music from a place where we understand, we try to understand the context of every artist, what they're personally trying to do, and the climate that they're trying to do it in. These reviews are not my opinions. These reviews are very well thought out ideas about where we are as a country and how our artists can operate in spaces where their personal vision doesn't have to clash 
with where the world is, how it can all just beautifully mold and harmoniously move in sync. I'm learning and I think along the way a lot of you have convinced me that you're learning. It's a dialogue. Please subscribe. Tell your peoples that we are out here doing reviews of artists who are not being given pop culture credence and acknowledgement and yet are killing the game right now. If you know any more artists who are doing that, holler at us on the comment section. If you want anybody that you feel I need to review, post the link, give me a name. We out here because there's just so many rappers that I sometimes lose count. So if you feel like reminding me, please, Ubo Kuruleka. It's VJ, the brother from the ancient mother. Takeza behind the lens. Headspace all day, every day. Album review. Sanobazigaka. Please subscribe. Boom!